Good evening viewers, we are here in the Qualifier 2 on Day 7 at the US Open T20 Tournament 15 edition at the Broward. On the board, runs on the board and just put them in the pressure. Edition at the Good evening viewers, we are here in the from Kralian Eagle. So who's going to spin the coin? Okay. Heads is the call. Tails it is. Hamad, tell me why you want to bat first this time. Uh, I mean, like it's the fifth innings. It's gonna be a fifth innings on the same pitch, and we want to put some target on the board. Here comes the whip. And he seals, runs into Bolter, Rakim Cornwall, who's on an even fifty. Uh, and he goes again. Yes, that. he goes as easy as they come, and that's the biggest one yet. He goes into the stands. Cornwall on the charge. He may have been inspired. So Cornwall goes straight down the ground to log off. And look at that, it's gone a long way. Six more runs to Rakeem Cornwall. Folks, these are not highlights, folks. These are not highlights. This is 12 balls. Oh, straight up to log oh, off. Has he given the man a chance? Down going the broadcast. Here is Johnson flicked away. Beautiful shot there by Kurishi for four. First delivery. It was as if he was batting there all night. All or none is uh, what Zeshan Kureshi is all about. And as you can see on the replay, he lets the ball come on to him and just yes. at the last moment opens the face of his bat and yeah. let the ball run away to the fence. And that's down to the boundary for four. Kureshi goes with this one. Massive hit. Could it go all the way? Six runs. Sean Kureshi, a six and a four. Two deliveries. I think we're going to go home early tonight. Look at that shot, guys. This is a terrific stroke by Zishan Kureshi. Yeah. So here's Johnson. Johnson's a good bowler. Comes in now. Kureshi pulls this away for four. Short delivery. It stood up and into the boundary for four. He's on 14 or four. And I think Danny Khan, who loves to carry on a panchite. He probably needs to get down there and start preparing the toss for the in the warm-ups. He was not hitting the ball. The guy, like he was playing a joke. This is pulled away, and that's four runs. This guy, this guy called Kurishi. That's four. He's not going to mock around. Look at the replay again, waiting for that ball to come on to him. Uh, it was a bad delivery, though. Bad delivery, no doubt, but uh, freeing his arms, getting his left leg out. I tell you this, look at it. Sammy's back punches off the back foot and he actually gets a single. So he is so fast dealing in boundaries, he now gets one, he goes to 19. That is. <laughs> this time it's gone! It's gone into the swap shop! And while you're there, you can probably bring me back something to eat. That's a massive six. Look at the replay here. Again, this is all pure power as he pulls that ball. But I wonder if he's a vegan as well. That's six. I think uh, uh, Kureshi is telling uh, Trevon Griffith that you don't... ...corner and a wide mid-off. This time he hits it down the ground. Kureshi, it's another six. What's going on here? And if you look at the 71 replay, for five of seven. Look at the replay we know. You can see he made room for that stroke. Again, waited for it and hit it over long off for, for six runs. That was a wonderfully struck stroke. I wonder if he paid to come in. Here is Dean Johnson. He's in the Koreshi. This is down the ground. Will this go? No. They take one. They should be coming back for two. So that's one more. He's go he goes to 32 of 11. It's a single dunk to long off now. As Kurishi seems to be playing for the not out now. Probably that's the most singles he has ever gotten in his life. The pavilion end now, bowling to Kurishi. Not really getting that as he would have liked. 40 and out to Kurishi. This follows his 43 not out in the 
That's a wonderful victory for them. We are close to the end, folks. But we have a couple of more people that we need to recognize. And each year, the Palm Beach County Sports Hall of Fame recognizes a person or organization whose dedication goes above and beyond typical commitment to sports and tourism throughout the county. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Qureshi is this year's outstanding sports contributor. Let's take a look at Mac's accomplishments. No one has done more for the development of the sport of cricket in the United States than our sports contributor, Mohammed Qureshi. In 1999, Mac's passion for cricket Good evening viewers, we are here in the Qualifier Tour on Day 7 at the US Open T20 Tournament 15th edition at the Broward County Cricket Stadium. The match is off 10 overs due to overcast conditions, but it's very, very windy here. I have the two captains with me, uh, Kingsman Captain Hamad Azam and Mukhtar Ahmed from Karelian Eagles. So who's going to spin the coin? Okay. Heads is the call. Tails it is. Uh, we'll bet first. Hamad, tell me why you want to bat first this time. Uh, I mean like it's the fifth innings. It's going to be a fifth innings on the same pitch. And we want to put some target on the board, runs on the board and put them in the pressure. What do you say about the pitch? I mean pitch is nice. It's, it's playing good. So I think it's a good pitch. Do you make any change from the last game? Uh, no, it's way of the same team. Okay, good luck. Mukhtar, you're bowling. Yeah, we also want to bowl first. I think pitch is look very good. Just I want to chase. I want to chase because when you have target in front of you, then you maybe you think of you play like according to the situation. That's why. I want to How is the experience playing in this tournament by now? I think it's very good because there's a lot of play, big name come here and plays against him. I think it's feeling very well. In, it's very a uh, very good tournament, I think, because the different country players, and when you play in the big names, I think you feel very well. And uh, what do you say about the pitch? Is it playing better today, and how is your experience by playing on it? Yes, I think every single day I saw the pitch is very good for the batting, also sporting little bit bowling, but it's still very good T20 pitches, I think. Are you enjoying your batting form? I'm very enjoying. Okay, all the best and good luck. Thank you. So the news from the center is uh, Kingsmen have won the toss and they elected to bat first. Welcome back to the Broward Stadium. Match with the Kingsmen and CC Eagles. They are yes. coming up now to do battle. Again, it's going to be a 10-10. We have reduced all overs for the match. We have one more match after um, this match. But Cornwall, his last time up in the preliminaries, he would have got himself a one ball caught in the mid on, got himself a golden dunk. But here we go, we're off and running as Scrimshaw bowls to Cornwall down the leg side and he's getting off the mark, playing this one into the onside. Deep mid wicket and he's targeting um, Cornwall's end. <laughs> Cornwall is like, why are you trying to run me out? You see, he's having a <laughs> word with a deep fielder. Yeah, so he, he target him on the on the on the leg side. <laughs> so I try to glide something there, but he got a single. 
Yes, but target him with the one out because the two at his end. Oh, rather oh, at than his end. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he'll be trotting along. Um, he'll have to go into overdrive sometime. Yes, well, keeping company with uh, Cornwall is Shaquille um, Khan. Shail has been has been opening with with um, Cornwall throughout the tournament. He's the left hander. And he covers up, can't score. So, are they welcome to the comeback? This is Audley Watson, and uh, I'm sure you'd want to say a hi and hello to some of the folks. Yes, we have some folks listening in the Caribbean. We know Merch and, and in New York and different places. We know Miss Merchis Nisbet. She's listening right now there in New York. Cardinal Mills over in um, St. Croix. And um, we have David Maitland right here and others. You know, you know they're watching right now. And Lynette also over there in um, St. Kitts. Yes, and uh, all the rest of friends that are watching at this time welcome thanks for being there so good start here by george crimshaw he has bowled um two dots on the trot here to um to mr ken and they said if anybody can shajil can <laughs> he can indeed <laughs> so he has sucked up two deliveries so far started off the mark cornwall made sure he got off the mark this time this is the match that counts they are in the playoff, and he's pulling and getting up on him. That one was quite pacey. Um, what happened there? I see the umpire giving a signal. Um, no, he's quite talking to his um. Or his compatriot. Yeah, the, yes, he's saying that two more balls in the over. Okay. But. So we have a hat trick of dots already, oddly, and yeah. just one run from this over. So they're going tidily. I mean, the he's swinging and getting bottom edge goes out to backward square leg. So the two men who are beyond the thirty yard boundary, the deep backward square leg and uh, the deep point. And one thing for sure, I know um, Cardinal C Cornwall won't be thinking about running much. He's just going to stand and deliver. I think that's what he's going to try to do. Hit those big sixes. Yes, well, he have one ball in this over in which to do that. So let us see what's an offer for him. Cornwall. And he's pulling, and he's pulling well over the fine leg that is up in the circle and down to the boundary for the first boundary of this innings. Stand and deliver. Just a flick. Down over over fine leg, and it's down into the boundary for four runs. Good start. Um, that's his second run, as a matter of fact. Um, but I must say, it's very windy here, Ivor. You can see the, the flags in the distance. Wind coming from the east going to the west. And it's been a windy, windy time. All day long, it's been really windy. You should have seen the, the top when the wind either we move from the square or getting onto the square and uh, they get even heavier when the water when they're water soaked mm -hmm. and i'm telling you taking all 12 14 men to take them well we got to give a big shout out to those guy um camp champy and, and the crew yes mr and milton taylor mm -hmm. that's the head creator here at this approved icc venue in the beautiful city of lauder hill and Rodil. if and if I'm not mistaken, um, of the delivery. Well, Terence Hines is in to the attack. This one is drifting, going down the leg side, and why it was called, I'm not sure. No, a dot is in the scores book. He was okay. asking the umpire question, but it couldn't be serious there with that one. He was angling, <laughs> going down the leg side, but he starts well. He starts with a dot. First over, just bought some six runs. A boundary coming from the last delivery of the bat of Cornwall. If Cornwall, I'm no stranger to to these parts. No, he has been on a, been here on a number of occasions. And this one is in the air, oh. and he dropped it. He did all the hard work getting in there. Would, would have been a fine catch. All the, we have seen some. 
brilliant catches. I'm sure you've seen him on the telly. Yes, uh, but that one I must say was sort of difficulty. He, he, he was always going away from him. He was coming in and um, he tried his best, you know. But you know, and with a breeze coming in, <laughs> yeah, right, taking the ball away from him. So Only you yeah. have a good eye. <laughs> And <laughs> exactly. I'm wearing, yes. I'm wearing glasses. Oh, that's <laughs> what I you have four eyes. Okay, now I know why you think. But exactly, precisely. The wind is coming from east to west. The ball was always going away from him, but he really put in the dive there. Tried to pull one up for Terence Hines to give him his first, first wicket. But they got a single, and that brings the big man Cornwall on strike. Another thing that I think I saw, Ivor, while I was watching television, um, that when when they were trying to cover the pitch with that heavy wind going, I think I saw Mark. I don't know if there's Mark out there. Yes. Also, you know, yes. fi fighting that heavy tarp. Cornwall yes. is edging one and he's getting four for it outside the off stump, slashing at it outside the off stump, right to the right of the wicket keeper and split the third man up in the circle and away she goes for four. It doesn't matter how they come. Of course, in, in the power play, it's always going to be safe. As long as over the wicket keeper and there's no slip in place, you, you, it's safe, safe grounds. So let it come. Swing, Cornwall, swing. Yes, indeed. So Cornwall quickly goes on to nine from th three deliveries. Can uh, sucked up quite a few deliveries. He's two from six. Oh, Cornwall is slashing at this and he's going to be in some trouble down there. And a brilliant catch. Did he take it? He picked it up. Is he claiming the catch? No, in the end he oh, said he no. He called it off. So <laughs> that's, that's good sportsmanship. Yes. Yeah, that was a good effort. So good I effort though. The, you know, he, he dove the last minute and tried yes. to... You know, pull it up, but then yeah, he, didn't yeah, he dropped quite just in front it. of him, and good sportsmanship. I, I, I like that because yes, yes, he came in and Cornwall was very close to getting out there, and they know that deep backward point is in place for that for that slash. But Cornwall gets one, goes on to ten. As I've said before, because of the power play, you can chance a hand right now. Ball them! Mm. So that single bought um, Shajil and, and Strike, and they took him out of his woes. Well, yeah, he has been, he has been there um, t two from seven. He has been sucking up some of the, those balls that should have been put away. And uh, as you have rightly said, seemingly he has put him out of his misery. Yes, definitely. He's struggled. Two from seven, that's not what is required. You're winning the toss and trying to set a target. You do not want a slow boat going to China. And he was like a slow boat going to China. So I, I, I sure the team would not be too saddened by that wicket. But sometimes one bring two. So Heinz put him behind him all together, getting him out. Um, but so all you have some scores first. Yes, we have some international uh, cricket is being played right now, and we have um, Pakistan presently. They are locking horns with um, with Australia. Australia first made 487 in their first innings, and Pakistan in their reply. They are presently 190 for four. Australia was all out for 487 in 113 overs and two balls. And um, that was uh, going at good speed. And uh, of course, um, the, um, the Pakistan is now making their reply. And um, they have just lost Barbara Zam. So um, I guess um, they are going to be missing him because he'll be one of the guys that they are they would be depending upon to help to overhaul this big score by the Australians. So, so Barbara Zam is out and uh, Imam Ulhaq, he is still batting at the moment. So uh, Pakistan is trying to fight and then uh, as the cricket 
back to live cricket here at the park and um, it's live cricket at the park as we are um, the, the present score is 12 for 1 after two overs two overs 12 for 1 the Kingsmen as they're having battle with the CC Eagles present run rate just about six after two overs 12 easy mathematics Yes, indeed. So again, we want to say hi and hello to all of the viewers on Mac TV and for those who are following on the YouTube channel, on the Facebook, we want to say good evening to you from this, the Central Broward Regional Park. We are coming to you live from the city of Laura Hill. And of course, this is an ICC approved venue that's the, that is situated in the beautiful city of Laura Hill. And I'll just finish it by saying we are in the county of Broward, we're in the state of Florida, and we're in the country of these United States of America. Yes, indeed. Virgil, be proud of you. <laughs> the beautiful city of Florida Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Virgil Francis. Virgil Francis is the man for the Sir Vivian Richards grounds. Uh, he gets standing ovation when he enters that ground with his Antigua flag and the American flag and his helmet. And he said he's a standout um, spectator. Yeah, he, he called himself undercover, 007 undercover. 007. Uh, 007, <laughs> I said, hey, man, you're no longer undercover. Your <laughs> cover has been blown. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, it's taking quite a while here. We have, um, what's going on here? We have the emergency field man. No. I guess that's a trial run. I don't know what he's doing doing right there. Yeah, that's um Ahmad Butt. Um Well he'll be bowling now to Rakim Cornwall and once Cornwall is there he search for boundaries and this is the last over of the power play. And he's pulling this one and he's gonna get four for it. Yeah, why why worry about running when you can just stand and hit it for four? Yeah, that <laughs> was a good shot. He just pulled it, 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 it rose on him, and he was to the measure of it, hit it in the vacant mid-wicket area, and now the, the long on has gone round to the mid-wicket area. So let's see what Cornwall will do with this one. So he quickly moves on to sweet 16. One wicket would have lost. We have Mead already got himself Smead. One delivery, he did not score. So Cornwall is doing the heavy lifting so far. They need to set a target of over 100. They have to go at least 10 and over. Remember, the winner stays and the loser, loser goes go home. home. Uh, yes, uh, yes. We're going to be here for a long night, I can tell you, Ardy. Probably up until 12, 1 o'clock. Well, can be. Oh, Cornwall is on the back foot and he's pulling this one beyond the boundary ropes for a maximum. Yes. As the umpire go for the Jenny Craig moment, hands in the air as we watch the replay. Yes, here it goes. Over and over. And uh, somebody told Cornwall that Florida is a stand your ground um, <laughs> <laughs> state. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't stand your ground and hit the ball away. Yeah, but that, that was a good shot because it was rising in him. Yes. Right up in the midriff. And he just swiveled, picked his spot. Of course, this is the last over of the power play because we're just doing the 10-10 instead of all of the 20 overs. So, power play is three, three overs. overs. So, Conrad is making hay while the sun shines and the sun has left us, but it's shining someplace in Australia. Conrad goes big again. This one is up in the air. Over. Has the distance and the height. It's gone for yet another maximum. This one is straight over the bowler's head. So Cornwall is on the charge. Good evening to Lenny Archibald. If you're still up, I hope you're still up and taking in some of this. It's after 11 o'clock in our neck of the woods. Or they we going to keep you here for some time? As a matter of fact, yeah, um, I'll stay around. But okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Say no more. <laughs> I've been here from this morning all day from 9 o'clock. And I enjoy your company as always. 
Thank you. And so Faisal Iqbal, we're giving him a break. He can <coughs> have a break and sit around. And we're giving Mac a break as well. So I'll run the course. Oh, that's Conwell's giving himself some room there. I'm trying to tug this one into the wind, but Conwell's hitting into the wind and still hitting boundaries. Yeah, but as a matter of fact, that last maximum, it was coming towards us, and I was saying, well, I was <laughs> watching it, you know, right yes. towards the comeback. Yes. The comeback. Yeah, but everything worked out well yeah, eventually. But yeah, but he's pulling and. He's pulling against the, the breeze, yeah, but he's such a big guy. He's a strong lad. He rushes on up to to 28 from just eight deliveries. Oh, he's pulling again, and he's going to get just one, though, because... Well picked up down by the square leg here. Yes, deep backward square leg gets in the way. Yeah. But Wicked's playing nice and juicy and bouncy, though. Yes. I am pleasantly surprised with, with all the rain and even the outfield is, n is not looking mm. that soak and oh. the balls are running away. No, the drainage is good. It's good, good drainage, here. yes. And good um, drainage. we have to give it to Milton Taylor and his crew. Um, sometimes, you know, the pits get a little wet, but then they will just roll it out, do what they have to do to get it up to um, good cricketing standard. So, but with the last delivery, and he'll be bowling to Will Smead. He's yet to get off the mark. He's pulling over the sticks. He's giving the room and he's pulling this one in the air and beyond the boundary ropes. Did it? No, four. One bounce, four. Again, he's hitting into the wind. So he gets off the mark. No, he's on. No, four. Four ones. Just drop just inside, about an inch away. Had it been on the other side, you know, going oh with yes, the, the wind, wind it would yes, have been the wind, uh, put it back in. six runs, yes. So we are, at the, we are at the end of the power play, three overs, and at the end of power play, it's 33 for one. It's 11 um, per over, the, 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 the run rate. Cornwall is on 27 from nine, and Sneed Smead is four from two. So good going. 11 per over. So um, let's see after the power play if they're going to be a slow down, slowing down or they will continue to go forward in the speed. Yes, well, having finished the power play, the feeling team here, that's the Eagles, they can afford to put no more than five feelers outside of the 30-yard circle. But Shabhan... Well, Johnny, he's going to be coming in now for his first spell. And he's coming from the far end. And he'll be bowling to Rakeem Cornwall. So Cornwall is going to be hitting in the leg side and going with the wind. Ooh, it's good a good ball. delivery. As Yorker link outside the off stump goes through to be taken by the wicket keeper. So a dot goes in the scores book. Good start. Yeah, good ball outside the off stump. Just enough to, you know, um, cause Cornell to hit and miss. And uh, I was saying that, you know, Cornell maybe will send that eagle soaring over the boundary. <laughs> mm. the, the Eagles, because they're playing the Eagles, Eagle coming at him. Yes, indeed. Well, let's see when Johnny, and he's tugging this one into the onside. He's going to stroll the single. So the boundary riders, we have the deep mid wicket. And the long on, and now we're pushing back square leg for Will Smead. No, he's coming back to keep company with Vincent Brown, the umpire. But we have three boundary riders in the offside. Oftentimes we have them in the leg side, but they're in the offside. Why would they do that when the wind is blowing? The wind is blowing it opposite direction. Yes, but I guess he's going to be bowling outside off. And yes, he did bowl outside off, and he's playing this into the offside. Good bowler is bowling to his field. Yes, indeed. Give the captain the confidence. I can always throw him the ball. He is going to do exactly what he's supposed to do. Yes, so keeping it away from the leg side because only two men in the onside for Cornwall. That's the deep mid wicket and a deep and a wide long, long on.
So Cornwall settles over his bat, decked out in black. Outside the off stump, in the air, and still in the air. He sent that eagle soaring. <laughs> exactly what I was saying. Well, that's another six for Cornwall, as easy as they come. It was over pitch. It was a bad delivery, though. It was a full toss. So he just had to get the wheel on it and placed it. Got exactly what he <laughs> deserves. So Cornwall is on two. Cornwall is on 41. No, no, Cornwall is on 34 from 12. 34 from 12. Yes, and he scores on 41. Going to oh! Good click. Cornwall missed out on that one. He slammed the bat into his pads as if, oh my, what did I do? Mm. It was outside the off stump, so that's a good line. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. So Cornwall is doing the heavy lifting so far. From Final ball in over number four coming up. Score 41 for one. Swing and a miss. Not and a good ball either. Just on about outside the off stump here. Left Cornwall stretching for it, but then went through to the wicket keeper yes so at the end of over number four 41 for one which is indeed the latest score here at the central Boward regional park so that made the current run rate uh, is a 10.3 um yes that's exactly, that's exactly, exactly like more like 10.25 well it's going for 10 and over if you continue this way they'll get over the 100 mark they're going to need much more than that though because I have a feeling that the Eagles are going to soar tonight. What's the high score yeah, um, here today or in the, in the T10? What's any, any idea? Well uh, um, yes, 100. And I know, I know when I came in earlier, there, there was a big that the last match. 121 um, is the high score here made by the Knight Riders. Okay. That's a good score. Yeah, so that, that's just a little over twelve and over. That's fraction. Yeah, that's over Kings there. But that was in the preliminary um match the first match this morning. And they played against the same team, the Kingsmen. And the Kingsmen went down in the preliminaries. And for those of you who are watching, um there we have the the Kingsmen and Kingsmen X. Yeah, but and the Kingsmen X are no more. They are gone home. Yes, they just so lost lost them their match to the Dallas All Stars. Right, so the Kingsmen are here, but the X remain just what it is at X. They're gone. So a little activity going on outside here, a little running back and forth. Then I mean in another moment we'll be getting some more action. Umpire is all in place and ready. Batter is ready to receive. And um, it's Will Smead is on five from three. Takar is a new bowler. Yes, and that one looks high and hard. And a Jenny Craig moment for the umpire. That's a maximum. Yes, but that one was high, hard, and handsome. And again, going against the win. Going against the win. Yes, so Smith really. Oops, I oh. gone again. For our viewers, we have a little. Okay, we are back. We are back. Have no fear. Ivor is here. <laughs> <laughs> now he's coming after him again. That's he's coming towards us, and it's going to be another maximum. Mm, yep, it's coming towards up here in the combox, uh, Ivor. But, uh, yep, down by the side screen. See you, boy. So Odin Smith can only look up and look at that one as it became 
while he was in the air, he thought it was a bird, a plane, or a kite, or something. He just looked and he just said, wave it bye bye. So Smith has now joined the party and helping Rakim Cornwall to do some lifting. He has back to back sixes. Here, can we see a hat trick of sixes? We will watch, we will see, and we will wait. I guess we'll definitely see. And yes, oh yeah. he has done it. Over Cow Corner for yet another maximum. And Cornwall is giving a big punch and said, yes, that's the way to go. They're taking a likeness to this spinner. That's the biggest of them all, I the biggest of the three. You know, just going, yes. going, going, almost into the stand. Yes. So he's raced up to 23. Is this right? 23 from seven deliveries? I guess it was three from se from four. And he's going again. But he didn't have the distance. So he holds out. This time, that one flutters in the breeze. So 23 from, from eight. That's reasonable. Almost a strike rate of 300. Just under 300. I think he would have so done he, his job. He because his the 50 came up in that over. <coughs> 59 for two. I'm telling you, that was some good hitting. That was some good hitting, Ivor. Over there, you just sit back and watch those balls flying over the boundary. And um, Cornwall must be saying, yes, I really need, uh, need some help. And yes, indeed. I'm telling you, that, that was a good knock. That's a good 23 yeah. from 8. He has set um, uh, the tone for over 100. Look at it. It's not even the, the, the fifth over has been completed. One one ball to, to go in the fifth exactly. over. Exactly. And, and they're almost 61s. Roughly 60. 59 for two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now there's no tomorrow. So we have Said Ali has replaced him. Oh, my. Said Smith. Speed. So Smith has gone for 23? 20, 23 from 8. Right, so final ball of over number 5. Dot in the scorer's book. So yeah. after 5, it's 59 for 3, for 2. 59 for 2 after 5. So from here on, I would say we're looking for about 110, 120. If Cornwall is there, I can tell you, <laughs> he, he sucked up five overs already. He got 34. You can add another 40 to that. I can tell you if he stays there for the next five. So I'm saying they're going to get to 130 if Cornwall stays. So that last over was serving up in dots and sixes. Um, three dots and three sixes. 18 from that over. And he got a wicket. So it's after 11 in our neck of the woods here. And we're going to be here for a long night. It's going to be almost 2 o'clock when we're going to leave this park after in 1 o'clock. In the morning. Yeah, yeah it's going to be morning. Saturday morning. Well, it's come to the territory, oddly. I've been, uh, I've been here, leaving here after 2 o'clock. Three o'clock in the past years when we used to. <laughs> oh, Conroy is going downtown just for the single. So we are spin from both ends now. Was that two or the, the one? Single? Just the one. So we're in on 60 now for two wickets. And for those who might be wondering, you maybe uh, came in late. Um, why we are playing this late, it's because of the inclement weather that has been in our area. It came in and it camped out for the past three days, and uh, everything was thrown back. Of course, you know, it should have been T20. Oh, he's pulling this one, but there's a man down there running around. He drops the catch. Just going to be, and he goes over the boundary. Did he go over? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's four, I think. Let's four. see.
Four ones. Yes. Yep. That one he that one was always diving, dipping on on, on the feel as he as he runs. Yeah, but they in. keep hitting into the wind yeah. and the the feelers too have to be mindful yeah. that the ball is coming to them and it's gonna die in the wind from time to time. So he didn't he didn't really pay attention there. He came in for the catch, but it was falling well short of him. In the onside again, but this time along the ground. Feels well this time. It's throwing to Cornwall, and they're going to target Cornwall for the one out. That that was a beautiful flick, Ivor. I like the way it just flicked down to most what's the deep square yes. leg. So Saidali wasting no time. He moves on to five quickly. Four and a single. This brings Cornwall into play. So five men on the on the boundary, they're the boundary riders. Outside the awesome Cornwall is hitting this one in the air. He has the height, but not the distance. Takes the catch. Cornwall is going to find himself angry with himself, not getting a full toss out of the park. Yes, and he's taking a slow march back to the pavilion. Very disappointed, <laughs> I would say, because that was one for the taking. Yeah, he could have hit it anywhere either yes. and end up hitting it to the hands of the feeler. Yeah, catch the, the, the bottom portion of the um of the bat. He didn't get in the sweet part of the bat. That's because he just stood there and swung at it. He needed to move his feet and get it in the middle of the bat, in the sweet part of the bat. And just um just to say um Pakistan seem to be in a lot of trouble right now against Australia. Um, at the lunch break, they are 203 for 6. Mm. 203 for 6, going up to 487. Yes, I said Warner is at it again. Uh, Warner is slated to exit the arena this year mm -hmm. on his home turf, I think after the third match. I don't know. It's best to go out at the top, but he's still making runs. Oh, squid driven runs here. One, they'll be turning for two easy runs, relaxing two. You know, Ivor, it's always better, w just to um, go back to Warner, it's always better for for you to be asked, why have you retired so early? Or, or, or you know, to be asked, why won't you retire? And so y it's always good to retire on top. On don't top, don't yes. stay around and, you know. Yes, and I'm asking people and they saying, why is this thing around? Just... But anyway, we want to live cricket here outside the off stump. It's going to be a quick single. That's now we're going to see quick singles because Cornwall has left the arena. Cornwall, he hits big. So you're not going to see quick singles from him. But mm -hmm. from here on in, I think you're going to see quick singles. Well, six overs done and dusted. The latest score. 68 for three. 68 for three after six. And we have two relatively... New Kumar, batters. Kumar, three from two, and Ali, five from three. So, when Jane has finished his quota, he has bowled and um, missed two overs for 17 runs. One wicket, not bad at all, going for 18, eight and a half, in, in, and in over. In T10, uh, that's good, that, that's good bowling. Very good, because very good bowling. Right, good. So, we're going to have Odin Smith, who has played international cricket he's going to be taking up the attack from just beneath us here in the com box this is the southern end so he has his trial run while they're setting the field Odin Smith such a good kid he even helped us with the with the, with the, with the tap today um, at one point such a helpful guy a cricketer you'll think he's too big would have played international cricket and say, me, I'm not touching any top. Oh, this one is taking pace off down the leg side. Yeah, good good delivery. Good deceptive delivery. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it was ill-directed. It's a wide. Oh. That's the only thing. So 69 it is. So, so I need to change my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Again, down the leg side, but he's turning it into the onside. They're thinking two, but would have been unwise to attempt that two. Because the two came in very good over the sticks to the wicked keeper. Even though he didn't take it clearly, but I guarantee you if they were trying for the double, they would have been flirting with danger. 70 it is. Yeah, back to that ball by Smith. You know, if it was test match, it would be good. But, you know, anything just infringing down the leg side in T20 T and T10s, down the leg side, it's going to be called wide. Yes, indeed. Well, you listen to the voice of Audie Watson of the Cricket Show fame that comes on on a Sunday from 6 o'clock until 9 o'clock. And you would not want to miss Audie's inside edge close to 7 o'clock. And, of course, he's the master for the birthday, Walter Henry birthday and anniversary hour. Oh, and by the way, uh, Walter Henry is the father of Mr. Ivor Henry. Oh, that is by the way. Oh, <laughs> that's a low blow, by the way. <laughs> no, uh, anybody listening and here talk about the, Ivor, the, the Walter Henry. So I just want to make sure they know that it's, it's, it's your dad. Oh, I thank you for that. <laughs> yep, well, there's a two. And that's good running between the sticks. That should have been just one, though. The fielder didn't get in fast enough. So Odin, a cheerful chap. I don't think he was used wisely in the West Indies colors, though. I think he has more to offer. Outside the off stump, swing and a miss, a loud appeal. <coughs> And umpire Vincent is not even paying attention to the appeal. He says, not out. Yes, Odin Smith. He represented the West Indies, of course, in... ODIs and T20 cricket. Yes. yes, and he has so far played nine ODIs for the West Indies and 27 T20s. So he has represented the West Indies so far on 36 occasions. And um, you know, where he's a swashbuckling batsman, you know, you just give him the chance and he'll rain sixes on you. And here he is at the U.S. Open. This time he'll only be able to bowl a maximum of two overs. Odin Smith. And he, he's pretty young. Pretty young man. Still have a lo lot of um, cricket to play. He's only 27. Mm. Only 27. That's what I'm saying. He still has milk in his face. And he comes from Jamaica, the land of wood and water. Still have another ball to go, Mr. Smith. Went to the umpire looking to take his hat. The umpire said, you still have another legal delivery left in this over. A bit premature, m sir. Yes. Trying to pull a fast one on the umpire. Let's see why he didn't want a ball. Oh, because he's going to be swatted for just two runs. So at the end of seven, it is 76 for three. Um, a partnership of 11. And eight runs coming off that over from Odin Smith. So under the circumstances, it's not bad. No, not a bad over at all. They try to get at least 10 and over. You need to get at least 100 runs. So you have to target these bowlers for 10 and over. Now they're going to need a big over here. He did not give up a boundary in that uh, in that uh, over. That's a good thing. Had one dot along the way. But one, two, dot, one, one, two. That's how the eight runs came from him. So turn signs. It's going to be Coming in back for his second over. 
He had a good over. Just um, six runs coming from it. And he bowled when the big man Cornwall was at bat. So that was very good. And with only two men outside of the circle, when he would have bowled that over. Captain would always want to have a bowler like that. Yes, let's see if you're going to bowl around the sticks because in his in the match he played earlier, he was pegging the off stump, bowling across. And see, they have the trap set here with with two third men up in the circle. When last have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> because he's angling. He, he has the art of doing that. Oh. Good take by the wicket keeper. Good take. Time yes. into his right. And he goes for a bye. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to run. But this is a feed that you have not seen because he has the knack to slant the ball across the right-hander. Now there's a left-hander. So you've got to... Right. Kind of three men behind the bat. You had a... Okay, the fine leg is moving around to perhaps a square leg. Then you have fine leg up in the circle. One is pulling this one into the onside. Not getting a hold of it, just for a single. You're going to need much more than that. You're going to need some boundaries if they're all to get over the 100 mark. Well, Ivor seems, well, I, I know you're not, you're not looking for th 130 again because Cornwall departs. No, no, right. no, no, no. So I said if Cornwall yes, stayed I, I the know. course. You qualified that by saying if Cornwall was yes. still there. Yes. But he has been gone, say, two overs ago. Again, across the batsman, French hit. The bow is faster. One from outside the off stump, getting the inner portion of the bat, passing the leg stump down to the boundary for four. Yeah, that was for us, though it may be, but it all counts. Yes. Down to down fine leg, down run off the inside edge of the bat, seemingly, and it's down to fine leg for four runs. Oh. Yes, in T10, there's no ugly four. There's yeah. always a welcome four runs. <laughs> oh, there's never <laughs> ugly four. No. <laughs> <laughs> T10 cricket, we take them any way they come. We oh, ball them. Here it is, going right across his sticks. And he's coming in from that angle. I said he's a good bowler, Terrence Hines. We'll have a look. Yes, that's Ivers, um captain's hat. You know, he, he, he <laughs> plays many roles. I can tell <laughs> the, the verb, Mr. Honorable All Purpose. <laughs> but that was a captain's hat. And he talked about Hines and the way he bowled. And exactly what happened, the batter went across, exposed his stumps, and it was lit up by Heinz. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, wicket number four the from the, the departure of Cornwall, the, the tuttering now. I mean, they're making heavy weather of this total now. But Heinz, just two more deliveries to complete his full quota of two overs. Could you imagine saying the full quarter of two <laughs> overs? <laughs> well, here's a fortuitous four the before that wicket. Yeah, he has conceded only 11 so far. I mean, very good ball in, in, in the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Two deliveries to go. Move some little moving around here, t trying to captain is make making sure that you're in exactly the right place where he wanted to be. I'm quite sure they want to chase something under a hundred. <laughs> well, we've seen um, 99 uh, has been defended here. Mm -hmm. 99, the target score that was defended in the last match. Um, this time he's going after him in the offside just for a single. So Terence Hines has been very miserly. He's not giving away anything. Don't you know that this is the giving season? <laughs> 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 this is the season where you give away stuff. He's not even giving away anything. When it comes to cricket and you're a bowler, you give away ducks. <laughs> mm. 
Last ball coming up and it's a dot. It's so a he dot. ends well. He started well and he ends well. Even ended better than he started. Mm -hmm. Just Two. six ones coming from that over. So so yeah, it was right six from each. So yes. he got he got a he got a wicket in that one as and well. Got a wicket as well. Mm -hmm. So he got. Two for 12 in his two overs. Can't beat very that. Good bowl and very good bowling. Can't beat that. So for those folks who are staying with us, we welcome your presence. I want to say good evening to Barbara over there in Atlanta. That's my lovely wife. She's up and listening oddly. Would you believe it? You see, you are Ivor. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another hat. Yes. He, he wears the hat also, um, the one that's called husband. Husband. <laughs> husband. Okay. I'm wearing the husband's hat. So good evening there. I'll say good evening to Sammy. Sammy's taking in some of the cricket too over there in Atlanta. Sammy Patrick. That's my boy. And Lenny, if he's still up, well, he, he, he'll watch it uh, uh, at another time. So, Lenny oh. Archibald, we're yeah, giving you a yeah, shout-out. He, he, yes. He's looking, I can tell you. Lenny is not going to miss this. I, I'm so sorry that he would have missed it. He missed out on Wednesday, Thursday. He was slated to come on down, but then he aborted the trip because of the inclement weather. Well, the penalty met over. Oh, he's going big into the leg side. He takes it over the rope. Guess the umpire is waiting to. Oh, yeah. Hands went up. The Jenny Craig moment. Yep. Again, hitting into the wind. Yep. His momentum took him over the rope. Yeah, very, very good catch. Very good catch. But yes. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a catch, what we call a no catch. Counts for naught. <laughs> that. Well taken. It's like a spectator taking it. Yes. Taking a good catch in the crowd. It goes for naught. 89 it is, though. That was a good hit. And he's going outside the off stump to play this one in the leg side. Guess the bye is going to be here. Let's see if he got a touch onto it. It's a bye, yes. You can see there was a race there between the, the, the batter and the ball. Yes. <laughs> going down the pitch. But the batsman the wins the race and um, could not have been given out obstruction. The ball didn't hit him. He didn't change his angle in running either. He didn't run down the middle of the pitch. So it's party time and um, Ali been there for some nine deliveries. And... Azam has just joined the party. He's in seven. He done a mighty blow there for six into the wind. So side Ali on strike. Crimshaw. Ooh, did he get hit in the head? Did he get conked in the head? We'll see in the, in the replay. Yeah, we'll see that on the replay. That's interesting. Oh, he must have hit the bat because the umpire did not signal. But that was one for the for the the batter is saying that was over the shoulder and he's not calling it. Square leg yes, he's calling it now. Square leg. Is he? Um, Look like he's giving his his um signal how much balls to his part to the umpire. Oh, this one is going big into the offside, inside out. Not an easy shot to play, but he gets six. No question about that one, Ivor. It was taken and uh, dispatched out of the playing area. Um, they, somebody is trying to retrieve it over the, the, I don't know, down by the scoreboard area. Well, ball is back in play. So he's, he's showing you, as I'm, as I'm showing you, he can hit six on both sides of the wicket. So this one was inside out into the offside. First one was down at deep mid wicket. So he's on the charge. 97 it is. And like I said, the penalty over is the one that always tell you and dictate either you're going to win or you're going to set a good target. So far, then course for big one. Just a single at this one into the offside, mid off. 
comes into play? Well, I think it's going to be at least 115. Oh, so you think they're going to get another 17 runs from seven deliveries? Yes. That's your prediction? Yes. Okay, we're going to hold. Let me write it down, take my time and write it down. 17 more runs are the predict from seven deliveries. Well, the South Park comes into play and he's have to go to the heavens because I can see the clearance sign is up on the rack. Everything must go. Outside, you have tugging it into the onside. They run in the first one quickly. It's going to be a relaxing two. Yeah, good delivery. He, uh, that one was a bit low and a bit outside the off some. So for him to hit that one, um, it would have to be something rising for him to get the full swing. But, you know, very good delivery back from the bowler. And the 100 is up, Ivo. It's 100 for four. Yes, indeed. Well, 18 runs coming from that over. So... 100 on the board, and so they need 15 by all these reckoning from this over. And let's see, I would think that Mr. Smith would have ball in hand, and I don't think he would want to give up um, 15 from this last over. But nonetheless, they're going to have to go for it. They're going to have to make it happen. Last over, do or die over. They're setting a target, won the toss, decided they're going to take first knock. For the majority of the time, the captain that wins the toss feels first. You but in this knockout stage, they decide they're going to set a target and they're going to defend it. Because yeah. they saw what happened here with the All-Stars. The previous they in the previous match? Yes, previous match. They defended a target of 99. So I'm sure they're saying, well, we have done one better. So we should be able to defend 100. Okay, so you know why they're going to make the 115? Because all... Caution is going to be thrown to the wind. They are going to be swinging. Yes, we only have wickets there, but you don't want a new batter to come in at this time. So they have to battle all six. Taking a bit of time here, though. Come on, and come he on. He, he bowled the first or his first over from the commentator's end. Now he is coming from the s northern end. Yes, uh, well, the, the all the it's, it's eleven forty-five, and we're still not done with this inning. So we have another inning and then another match. What time do you think we're going to be leaving the park, Audley? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, okay. 2.33. 2.33 o'clock, okay. I'll, I'll write that down also. Bold oh. Emma exposing all the sticks. Hazam Azam and uh, Mr. Odin Smith will have none of it. You're not going to expose your stumps to me and I'm not going to um, cannon them. I think he was trying a bit of Sirakumar Kumar Yadav. <laughs> Went too far. Yes, over ambition, wicket. All he's putting you under the pump. You're looking for 15 runs, but we're getting wickets. Yes, it's a, it's a final over, and um, I'm still sticking to my 15. Yes, well, he went too, too far across. I mean, you understand what he was trying to do, but you expose all of your stump to... An international cricketer played some 26 um, white ball cricket. Thir 35 in all, I think. 35, 35 in all, 26 uh, ODIs. All. And uh, you're exposing your stump to him that early? They ought to, they ought to respect the international cricketer. Yeah, this is <laughs> a big match. This is not a Cory Goat match, pal. He's still only 27 years of age. <laughs> He's... He's not done yet in uh, West Indies colours. I don't think so. I would hope he's not finished. Oh, this time he's pulling sweetly. And he goes all the way for yet another US Open maximum. Six runs. Okay. Mm. Only nine to go. <laughs> <laughs> of my predicted 15. Uh, Odin Smith has been known to so that's get some sticking at times. That's Hassan Khan. That's the batter. And if anybody can, Hassan can. Hassan can. Yeah, he can get you the 15 ones. Anybody can get you 15. Hassan can can. And he's going again. This time he's going to be one bounce four. That's the 10. You're just five away, oddly? Just five away. 
This time he stayed stationary. He's not exposing the stumps, all of them, and he's pulling. So that's that's poor bowling, though. Um, that one was a half tracker, and you don't have a deep backward square leg. You have a wide third man cover sweeper and uh, long off. And then you have mid wicket and uh, long on. Now this trying to push back the square leg. He says no. I should be able to slant this ball across the batter. So that was bad bowling. That's poor bowling. He said, do not change my feet for my bad bowling. <laughs> he's, he's pulling this one. They're going to take on the arm. Yes. Gonna be Touch out. and go. Let's see what the umpire says. Made it safely. Yep. Two to go. Two more deliveries. So square, leg, square, leg umpire, square leg umpire did not move, so we know that he's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to have to affect the run out. Yeah, well, the throw came in at the at the um the bowler's end. Uh, uh, not square leg, but the umpire that was square yeah, with the standing the umpire. Yeah, yeah. Standing umpire. Yeah. <coughs> he just indicated to his partner that two more delivery left. He didn't put that dreaded finger up. So all you just need what? Three more? Cutting outside the off stump. They're running the single. <coughs> so you're almost there, Audley. Two almost more to go. There. Almost there. Two more to go. And you have one delivery. So you know they're going to be running for this one. But you're going to need more than 15. You need a boundary here. And then you go over the 15. You need two to make 115. They need four to make it 117. That's a good score. Oh, up in the air, there's a man getting on the way. Takes the catch. Or they fell short by two. All right, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 113 is, so is not bad. So innings close. We'll have a look. So Odin Smith getting two wickets in this, his last over. One thirteen for six. So Khan was the Khan the one who got out. So this Cornwall at the top of the order got thirty five from sixteen. Will Smead twenty three and double figures we had Said Ali fourteen. Hazam Azam fourteen. Thirteen to Hasakan. Extras three. Hundred and thirteen for six from ten overs. That's good score, and and in the extra depart extra department, it does only three. Very so tidily. Yeah. In the wicket column, we had Terence signs two for twelve, um, two for twenty-one from Odin Smith, one wicket apiece for Rahani and Taka. Um, Grimshaw bowled his two overs for twenty-two runs, and uh, one over for eighteen runs. That was from Taka. That was a bit expensive, more than a bit expensive. That was expensive. So this is it for this innings. So in a few minutes, we'll, we'll be back, be for back the with you. It's the innings break.
Make Group Investment Project. Indian Lake Estates as our newest Florida land investment opportunity. Situated in Central Florida, in the same county as Disneyland, Indian Lake Estates is within easy reach of Orlando, Tampa, and the Space Coast. Indian Lake Estates is a gated private community covering 10 square miles right next to one of the largest freshwater lakes in Florida. Entering through the gates, you soon discover an 18-hole championship golf course, a 9-hole executive golf course, alongside tennis, pickleball, and basketball courts. And when the games are over, why not relax in the estate's 23,000 square foot clubhouse, have a drink at the bar, or dine in the restaurant looking over the golf course. On the western side of the development is Lake Walk on Water, a 14 square mile translucent freshwater lake that is every fisherman and boater's dream come true. And once at the lake, you'll discover the longest freshwater pier in Florida, a perfect spot to fish or just watch the stunning sunsets next to the abundant wildlife. Indian Lake Estates boasts a variety of half-acre buildable home sites extending from the golf course to the lake, including lake access canal lots. All lots come fully deeded as well as inspected for wetland and flood zones. Owners can use all the facilities without having to build. Caledonian offers a limited number of buildable lots with significant investment growth potential. Make group investment project. For more inquiry, call us at plus one five six one three nine two four eight zero zero or visit our official website www.makegroup.com. turning there to get in he's pulling this one he's pulling well and he's going to go over the boundary rope for the first maximum of the inning yeah big shot again from uh, from rakim cornwall we've seen it so hamza Tari comes out of the Sc uh, scotland national team and uh, look at that all the ease in the world inside out rakim cornwall smashes this one over the offside and 16 runs off the first over i will see what jimbo cornwall will make of it so Rakim Cornwall, oh, smash straight out of the playing area, and it's gone a long way. Rakim Cornwall on the charge, and smash it. The Jelani Seal serves up, and this one, similar position, similar result. And while it may not have gone as long as the previous one, it's gone for six. Couple of sixes here from Rakim Cornwall. Yeah. The pressure, couple of sixes already. Rakim Cornwall, mm. this is high in the air. Mm. This could go all the way. In fact, it has gone all the way. So three sixes in the over. Jelani Seals. Square leg one at mid-wicket. Here is Jelani Seals. 
Uh, and this and one again is gone. My word, Cornwall on the charge, and he tugged it one from outside the off stump, gave it a treatment, and that ball has gone over into the adjoining fields. So Jalan for the sixth. So Rakim Cornwall waits for Jelani Seals. He runs into both the Rakim. Rakim smashes this one over the long off area. And a couple of bounces and it goes away for four. John Simpson gives chase. And while it wasn't a six. Well, play resumes, and uh, the one chase is going to be on. 114 is the target score, and the uh, batters are out in the middle, umpires on the, on the square. <coughs> Fielders are trying to get into their position. Conference beneath us here between bowler, captain, and uh, mid-off. So Kingsmen would have reached 113 for six wickets, and now they're going to try to defend that. We saw the Dallas All-Stars defending a target score of 99. So outside the off stump, swing and a miss. Good start here for the... For the Kingsmen. I was looking for Cornwall. Okay, I can see him in the distance. So he's on the park. He's in the third man up in the circle. That's where he's stationed. Oh, playing right across this one again. And the bowler put his hands on his head. How oh, that one did not bowl and no, it sticks over. Just rolling his fingers over that one. So two dots on the trot. Trying to get to 114 for the victory. And we'll just go ahead and say the winner stays and the bowler and the loser goes home. So Ahmed, the batsman, he's coming after him again. And uh, this one going over the sticks. So a hat trick of dots, oddly. Okay, so we have a reply. The chase is on its way. And of course, it's the Eagles. They're chasing 114. Of course, they need to get 115. No, 114 is the target score. Oh, oh, that's a, sorry. Uh, one f <coughs> so it's one, yeah, 113 to so 114. I stand corrected. Okay, spring this one into the mid on position just for one. So he gets off the mark and the score is on the way. Score from the fourth delivery. I guess he has. He, this guy has been um, throwing stones at mango tree or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ball rocketed into into the wickets. Good throw. I remember in my days going to school, Ivor, you know, coming from school, and we would mm -hmm. hit the mangoes off the tree, you know, stone the mangoes. Give me something over there. Even. Playing this one with soft hands. Oh, they got in a tangle there between the bowler and. Uh, the non-striker, but all is well that ends well. Yeah, you should, you know, hit or even the jelly off the tree, the coconut jelly off the tree with stone it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I can't throw a golf ball 20 yards. Tell <laughs> 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 oh. you uh, about when uh, in the days of a youth. Well, don't feel bad. Well, Gomel is on one from one and Musta Ahmed is on one from four. 
So Wakas Masood, he is the bowler. Started off very, very well. A hat trick of dots. Single from foot delivery. He comes in outside the off stump, a swing and a miss. Good ball, Iba. Good ball. Ball just by the ball and dip going away. And climbing. Climbing, yes. Yes, well, we have some drizzle oddly, so the rain is slated for the next hour. Yep. And it's not looking too good thereafter. Nope. Not not for cricket. Uh, At one o'clock, we'll be 80% chance of rain. Matris, send some sunshine for us. Not the cold, though. So it's, yeah, it's drizzling already. They just have to go and get in some overs here to get this match. Let's get six overs at least. Ah. They have to come off. It's blowing it's hard. It's coming across. Hour. Yes. If they don't get this, they, um, they, they tap on here quickly. Going to be in trouble. And they're going to need a lot of help. Yes, the umpire has removed the stumps. So, yet another interruption from the weather. Rain is coming yes, in. Yes, at least they need to get the the one over the pitch, the first one. Get that one over the pitch. <coughs> it's a slight rain. Don't think the other match is going to be played. So, get that first one over. Get it over the, the, the middle the strip. The plain area, yeah. Yeah. Then they have to get the big one over. So viewers, here we go again. Another interruption because of the rain. Um, it's not too heavy at the, at, at the moment, but it may, be as as the we get a little later. One hour rain. Yeah. It's going to win for the next hour. So it's not looking too good where cricket is concerned for the rest of the night. But what do I know? We're just going by what the um Yeah, but it's going to meteorology. It's, it's going to be true to form. Yeah, for yeah. the next hour it's going to be light rain. It's light right now. Mm -hmm. But after that, yeah, 80% chance and it's yeah, much heavier. Yep. Yep. So as you can see the top, they're having some challenges there with the top. Having so a war with the wind. <laughs> yeah, but like I say, it's going to be light rain. So if you're going to stop play here right now with the light rain only, it simply means when the so heavy rain comes, that's it. But um, let's see what Australia is doing at this time. They are playing at Perth, and it's daytime for Australia. So, Pakistan 209 for six at is this that time. Lunch? Is that lunch? Chasing, no, they're live. They're still okay. playing. Back from lunch. Australia batted first. They made 487 all out, and uh, that was a good looking um, scorecard. But so far, let's give you the Pakistan scorecard. We have Safiq. He's gone. He's gone for 42. Iman al he is he's gone for 62. The captain Masood, he's went for 30. Um, Shabazz, he went for 7. And uh, we have Azam, 21. He's gone, Baba Azam. That's a good batter. He's gone for 21. We got Saad Shaquille. He's not out in 18. We have the weak keeper, Safraj Ahmed. He's gone for three. And the other not out batsman is Salman. He's still there on six. So who's taken the wicket so fast? Michael Starks. He's got two for 48. Pat coming, the captain. He has one for 31. Nathan Lyon amongst the wicket again, two for 53. And Mitchell March picked up one for 21. 
Traffic said and his road has not taken a wicket. So here's it again where they're gonna be playing tricks with us with this um with the rain. It's just a light rain and I think probably we can play with this light rain. Yeah. So let's get the top back off. Get in this cricket, get this match over with. Because after an hour, we're gonna have a downpour. There's an eighty percent chance of rain from one o'clock. Okay, I was told, let me give you a little uh, score uh, from the ladies this time. India and England. So India made four hundred and twenty-eight in their first innings. England 136 and India batting a second time they did not enforce a follow-on but in a second time they made 186 for six declare and England presently 68 for three and um, it's not a matter of England you know having a chance to win because they would have to make almost 500 runs and of course you know the record for all um, winning coming from behind the fourth innings is 218 by the West Indies. Um, the, the, the highest, I think, for ladies is less than 250, and it was by England as well. Um, that's the highest score chasing. So um, Ingl India is looking right now in the driver's seat as if they are going to be winning that one-off test versus um, England. And uh, th th there's something about the about India's first innings, Ivor. Uh, I've never seen this for, for a long while. Um, three batters. One made 66, one made 67, <laughs> one made 68, yeah. one made 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that. <laughs> yes, yeah, 69. Mm. 66, 67, 68, 69. Ah, the wind is taking this stop pulling. They're going to pull these guys. Sing. So things are looking up for cricket here. The top Paulin seem to be taking all those gentlemen inside the pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> they're walking behind it, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which is good. If they're going the other way now, that's where the, the fight, mm -hmm. re the fight is really on. So they have to be holding on to it right now as they're going back off the pitch. Mm -hmm. So momentarily, we should be seeing some cricket. Good news. Yes, good news here from the Central Bowd Regional Park is that cricket will be continuing. That was just a passing drizzle. But you know, you're playing on turf wicket, you take no chances. But they're going to get through this match. I'm not too sure about the final match. I can't even say that um, they can knock these ones off in five overs or they can knock them over in five overs. I think they're going to bowl all of the ten overs. But Kingsmen have a chance of winning this. Eagles have gone this over. Just two runs coming from it. So the batters are also making their way back out to the middle. Mm -hmm. So we should be having some cricket in another minute or two. And we are hoping we'll get a result from this match. Yes, we will get a result, I would think so. At least we could get um, a show by five, six overs to just set up for Lewis. I'm off it, so we'll just keep going. I'm off. I'm keeping yes. So the umpires from the far end putting in those stumps once again. And the batters, one already bending over, getting his exercise as the other, the non-striker making his way down to his end. So we should be having cricket momentarily. And the bowler, Gomel, will be bowling. He has Gomel will be coming in from the Northern end. 
He bowled one ball. So the score is still two, two without loss after one over one ball. That one, we got a single, hitting the ball out on the offside. So, so far, it's three deliveries. No. Oh, seemed to be a drop catch. Hit the ball back to the bowler. Uh, we'll see on the replay. Seem as if it put that one down. Yeah, definitely drop catch. Chance going to begging. So, 111 runs to get. But the, the going is very slow. They might not want to get one of these batters out. At this time, Amir outside the off stump. It's a good delivery. That one kept low. Yep. Yes, so Muhammad Amir, he has, he has been good all along for King's men. Yes, he has really, really bowled some good deliveries. No, I haven't seen Cornwall. He didn't go back out there. So I don't think he, he's going to be bowling in this inning. He's driving, hustling the single. Good backing up by the wicket keeper. That's a good move. See where the keeper? Brilliant, Ivor. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Even though there was a feeler there, he said, I'm going with the big gloves. Yes. They want to be in the park for tomorrow. That's what it is. Yes. They, they know. They know the drill. If you win, you stay. And if you lose, you the go loser home. goes home. Have some drizzle coming back across here, blowing across. Yes. In the air, but away from the feelers. Just a single. Yeah, they're trying to get in these overs as quickly as they can. See, their feelers are hustling around, trying to get there. If they can get in a, a couple of overs, they might be able to. Why would he go be going on the park? Oh, he's going for his helmet. Man, they should put on some spinners. Yeah, but they they don't want to put on the <laughs> spinners. <laughs> the next thing, they cut them all over the... Uh, and then the ball mm -hmm. will be damped. You have to spend some more mm -hmm. time to try to dry yeah. the ball to get some yeah, grip. Yeah, they can play this drizzle, man. Come on, just play. Yeah. I want to say good evening to Mertrice Nisbet over there in New York. All the Mertries want to hear you call her name. Yes, and you have to say Miss Mertrice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's drizzling. Good night to you. Is Donna, is Donna watching? Um, well, it's late for Donna. No, it's after one o'clock. Okay. So I know she'll go on to sleep now. Or oh, I think they're going to have to come off. They're going to they're gonna come off. Yeah, it's getting heavier. Yeah, yes, yes. So the wind is playing cat and mouse. And by the time they bring, bring, bring the top on again, then it's going to go again. See, it's beginning to die down already. It's dying down. So they have to take that drill all over again with the tarp to get it over to cover mm. the yes. plain area. Yes, well, the 15th edition of this year's Open, this is beginning to remind me of 2015 when we had all that rain, but the tournament didn't play. They shared so the prizes. Sh yes, they shared yeah, the trophy. That Everybody won that year. Yes, <laughs> I remember that one. And Lenny gave me a book there with all the championship I should have walk with it when it was coming but uh, i have i have um i have them 
except for last year. I forget who, who won last year's tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure Mr. Google can tell us that, you know. Well, it's a struggle to get on that. See how that Because they're going in? into the wind. Now they're going into the wind, so it's a no. fight. Uh, yeah, for either you way, let me say. For the viewers who are watching, you can see what we're talking about. It's a fight to get that tarp up to cover the, the pitch. You it's can see struggle. the wind. You can see the wind um, really blowing hard. But like I said, by the time they get it up here, the wind would have gone. Because it's just that fine drizzle they're going to be having. The umpires are still out there, so you, you you know it's not really too hard. That's what I'm it's saying. It's hardly recognizable now whether it's raining it's or not. That's what I'm uh, saying. It's yeah. gone again. <laughs> the umpire called it. I'm saying you can play through that little wind because it's going to blow off and go again. Because the wind is really blowing over the wind. That's what it is. See? It's gone. <laughs> the, players, the players are going back on the field. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's gone. That's what I'm saying. By the time they get that up there, it's gone. The weathermen know what they're saying. They say it's going to have a slight drizzle. But Mercury's good evening.
Well, folks, the rain has been playing cat and mouse with us. Um, which one is going to be the winner? Well, as you can see on screen, the umpire is in place. I should say umpires with the square umpire. He's there, yes. The batter's taking their sweet old time in getting out there. Um, you think they don't want to play? They want to just say we're behind the eight ball, two overs for five runs. And you think they're going to have some calculations, some place to say, okay, well, the match wasn't played, so you couldn't. What, what, what do you think they're, they're doing? They should have been there, ready to knock this 114 runs off. They will have to do something extraordinary now, Ivor. They are presently lagging behind. You know, uh, after two overs with, on, with only five runs on the board. They're so far behind that Cornwall decided he's not going to feed. Cornwall decided, you don't need me, <laughs> you don't need my bowling. Okay, we are we are on the way once again, and that one is over the boundary. Maximum. Jenny Craig moment, I before the umpire. Yes, his hand going above his head. So these batters would have taken a rest, would have gotten instructions from their coaches and captains and senior players and saying five for no loss from two overs is not going to cut it so what he does first delivery on the resumption he whacked it out the park over in the cow corner area for six and he's going again this time they're going to be just a one bounce to the man down there in the mid wicket area just a single but the intention is clear now oddly we can clearly see that Ivor. No joke about that. They need to, they need to up the ante, and they have done that for the last two deliveries, the six and the single. But aggression. Well, let's see if now Mukhtar Ahmed will follow suit. It's, well, yes, he's following suit, but he's not catching up with the with the ball though. He's showing the intention. You can see but the pull. Intent. Wait, yeah. Yes, indeed. A aggressive mood. So the spin is coming and down the leg side. It's going to be a wide. Jenny Quick moment. Time to exercise. This time he's playing this one into the onside. He's going to get four. He split the wide mid on and uh, the deep mid wicket. And away she goes for four. Here it is. So both batters are showing signs of aggression and doing it with great effect. Yeah, this is so far a very good over for the, for the batting side. They have already scored some 11 runs. Yes, so it goes on. There was only five runs. In two overs. In two overs. So they scored some 12 runs. So I get that little rain break brought yeah, a little. This time he's following him. Yeah, I think that little rain break brought a little um, conversation. Yeah, yeah, they, they took a while to get to the to the middle. In case we're getting the last instructions. Ball them! Center stump knocked back. Off stump, as a matter of fact. Yes, that was, uh, you know, we, we clearly saw the intention of the batters. And indeed, the need to, you know, get something going. And... Um, Unfortunately for 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 um, Mokta Ahmed, for Ahmed, yeah, he lost his wicket in the quest for quick runs. But then you have to because you need to, you know, get things going. Well, they got twelve from that over, so 
And again, we just want to hail Murchvis, keep in company with us. Murchvis is of two fames, you know. She's of the Cricket Show fame on Sunday, and she's of the Caribbean Global Voices on a Saturday. On a Saturday. When yep. you're big, you're large. <laughs> Murchvis. Oh, we, I sh should get also hail up Dennis Heat over there, eh? Dennis. Oh, yes, in, in, California, in California, you California. know. Yes. It's just gone past 9 o'clock for him. Yes, Dennis. He, yes, he, I know he was watching. And he too is doing double duty now. He's going to be on the cricket show on a Sunday and on a Saturday. He comes in his PJs to listen to Caribbean Global Voices and uh, lend his voice as well and make his contribution. Yes. And I know tomorrow he w he's going to say a thing or two on the passing of Dawn Cochran. She would have left us. And if she would have made a contribution at 1045, we'll have probably, if there's no play, I'll try to get on. But I'm going to ask Cardinal to have a moment of silence at 1045 in respect of the passing of Dawn before they can say something about the Antigua Kia. But if it rains, I'm going to try to probably bring, bring the laptop. I can probably leave it here. If there's nothing doing, I can just follow. Yeah, he's such a great human being. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, this is a good stroke. It's tugging it from outside off and into the cow corner area. Splitting mid-wicket and long on. And a boundary, well-needed boundary. They need plenty more of those. Yes, this is indeed um, what they ought to be doing. And at least they, they did it on the last over, the over before this one. Yes. They'll continue to do hopefully the same thing if yes. they are going to have any chance. Yes, well, and now he's slapping this one passing point. Cover sweeper gets in the way. They're going to be running a relaxing two. <coughs> so, Akashet Gomel <laughs> <laughs> and Murtris. You can see it on your screen. Akashet Gomel. He's wheeling the wheeler now. He's on 16. From 8. 200 strike rate. Yes. So Amir. Oh, he's pulling this one. Two men are going after it. Let's see who gets there first. The long on gets in. Just a single. They're going to need boundaries. Because the power play has been done and dusted. It's a 10-10 instead of a 20 overs. So we're into over number four. So you can have all five boundary riders. Yeah, that ball, I was looking for one of the other fielders to run up to the wicket just in case, you know, to throw the ball back. But nobody actually moved. The Fander, and he's playing this one to extra cover. Just for a single. So slow going, trying to get to 114 for the victory. And the light rain is with us again. So you're playing cat and mouse. But comes 1 o'clock, the rain should be heavier than this because the weatherman said it's going to be light drizzle. So game on. 25 for 1. Outside the off, some punching into the offside. Cover sweeper comes into play. They were thinking too, they have to do better than that. Should be taking on the arm of the of those fielders in the deep. Or be real fast with the f with take that f um, first single very fast. Yes. Yeah. That's out of the coach's manual. Run the first one fast. And in case of a fumble, the throw might be a bit off coming back. Sometimes it takes a chance. Square driven. And again, this one, well, he got there in a hurry. So no chance of a double. The previous one, at least. So the players are running around trying to get in these overs. Knowing that they have this win in their grasp. Unless one or both of these batters go gung-ho. I think the writing is on the wall that the Kingsmen would advance. And of course, no, of course, nobody want. Eagles don't want to go home. They want to continue soaring. That is true too. 
and so means you're flying because mm, so I know much high. much of you think that you're thinking about a band aid <laughs> for so. <laughs> Folks, we're having a little fun to come back along the way because we have to stay awake. There's no coffee around here, so we have to just keep the commentary um, where we can have a chuckle every now and again. So be with us. For some strange reason, Audi does not want to call Gomel first name. Audi, give it a shot. I think you need to call. This is his given I name. I, I leave it alone. <laughs> that is his given name. I, I know, I know. But so I I why aren't you calling his first name oddly? Because I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's A A K A R S H I T Gomel. I think you should pronounce it. Another dot into the scores book. So Saif Saib. So Saif Saib. These names, I'm saying, he's going two from two. They did very well because at one point we thought um, the King's men would have got to at least 135. They kept them in check to 100 and 113. 13. Or they predicted 115. They even went lower than the 115. But these, these batters are not really... Really going gung ho. They're making heavy weather of that 114 target score. So, Akashit, Gomel. Okay, so we have the, the score presently 29 for one after four and a half overs. Stri strike rate, uh, run rate of, oh, that disappeared for a moment. Well, Gobel is on 19 from 11. Shaib is on four from five. And it. Light drizzle continues to blow across east to west. But if it should continue like this, no, I don't think there's any chance of them coming off. Umpire signal a wide. No, they definitely ha have to play <coughs> through this early. Um, just a light uh, drizzle, just like the weatherman say, just a light drizzle. Hopefully I can say safely that like everything else, it will. Okay, this one is big. Pass. It's leaving the playing area. Goes be goes beyond the boundary rope for six. No doubt about that one. Yes. Um, with the drizzle continues, maybe it, it disappears again. Yeah, he took <laughs> this one from way outside the off stump. So I think he has finally decided that, look, we have to go forward. And like, no. Yes, because the overs are slipping away. Just one to complete over number five. And going after him again. He's going straight down the throat of the man in the long on position. Wicked number two goes. Saif Saif goes for ten. Ten from seven. Well, you can say you could. we could see his actually intent. We, we could actually see his intention. Right, because now they have to just start hitting the ball. And the first one was a six, which was good. And then he was going again, but did not quite get everything on that one. And the man down at mid-off was just waiting to collect that one. Good catch. Yes, when the King's men batted, we saw a hat-trick of sixes. And this time he was trying to go for the double and got out caught in the second attempt. So a target of 114 seemed to be coming like climbing Mount Everest at this time with the, with the total and 38 for two. And half the overs are gone. Yes, five, we are. Oh, five overs completed. Yes, you know the Kings Banner, if they can get the wickets, fine, but they're just trying to keep the ball on the square. So... They're going to play it 
through this. I'm not too sure that they're going to have that second match early, in all honesty. Oh, this one is... Oh, that's oh. a good <laughs> feel there. Knocked down. If that had passed him, I think they would have gotten the four because yes. he was down on the ground to get up to chase that. I think the ball would have won the, the, the foot chase. Absolutely no doubt about that, Ivo. So that, that was some good feeling. Good feeling. And bowlers are always like that. You just support me in the field. I can't prevent six. I don't expect you to catch sixes. But those that are on the ground, I expect you to angle, you know, cut off those angles. Just just dive. You're not going to, don't look for water. Just dive. And, uh, of course, <laughs> you man. Know? You, can, you can dive on dry land. And it's not even dry. It's wet now because the drizzle is on the grass. You're not going to get hurt easily. But the 40, we've gone into the 40s now. So 40 for two. This time he's playing it back along the track to the bowler. Mm. And dots are like gold dust over number six. Cornwall know they do not need his his um, off spinners, so he stays in the hut. And he's banging this one down to mid wicket just for a single. So the batters are just going through the motion. Unless they really go um, really gung ho, I think they've given up this one chase. The good thing about it, Ivor, is that they they've got eight wickets in hand. So just in case they are hoping for a miracle or some big hitting, there, there, there's, you know, eight wickets still to go. But I have news so for you. The two best batters are in now. Moore's um, and uh, Gomel, the two batters have been making some runs for them along the way. So they don't want to get out to let the tail enders come in. Well, they, they've got four, four overs after this one. So let, let's see what's happening. Outside the off stump is... Playing this one again out to the cover sweeper just for a single. These poles are not going to hit it, pal. You need some fence to wrap around these poles. But with, with each passing ball, it they seem to be going deeper and deeper in the pit. 71 balls to win. Um, 24 balls and 71 runs to get. Four overs, 71. That's just a small matter. Of 71 runs to get. With, but with a current run rate of 7.2. <laughs> well, what's your required Re run rate? Required 17.8. So they need 17 runs from this over. <laughs> well, the spinners are choking them. I can say that with all honesty. Yeah, we have, we have to refer back to Virgil. Always remember Virgil. The bowlers, huh? The bowlers. You have right. to give the honors to the bowlers. The honors Hello, the bowlers. Virgil Francis. I think he's in Antigua at this time. He went down to look at the West Indies against England. I'm not too sure that he's back in these quarters. That's a dead ball signaled by umpire Vincent Brown. So the spinners are working f to this on the back foot punching in the offside but only for a single planting poles again they're gonna need some fence need boundaries to wrap around those poles oddly credit to the bowlers credit to the bowlers oh, so credit to the bowlers how about the fielders back, I, was, I was going on to that backed up okay. by some good feeling oh okay I <laughs> took it right out of your yes. mouth huh? oh out of the mouth of babes I have to this is in the air but it's gonna be dropping safe and for what again? They need to take on the arm and get some doubles. See, that would have been two easy ones. Force it. Make a match of it. They're making a meal of the chase. They're laboring their way to 50. One hit away. I think it's going to come in this over. 50 is going to come up in this over early. Keep a, a watch. A win is looking more in the distance. Good ball. It was drifting in with the breeze. Was, his intention was right, but he couldn't execute what his mind was telling him. So you need that hand-eye coordination with your feet in the right place to be getting these balls beyond the boundary ropes. They need a few of those. Bowling around the sticks, a full toss. Didn't do much with it again. It goes down to backward square leg. Just the one.
little bit of slow going on their part. 30, 48 for two. Target 114. Come on, Tom Moores. Moores, you need more. More runs. More, more. More runs. More. Outside the off, some looking to swing into the on side. End of over number seven. The writing is on the wall, I would say. Mm. Um, I, I, I don't want to be, uh, well, it's still, it's, it's still being used. The, 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 the fat lady is beginning to gargle her throat. Look at the white. Did you see something white over there? Is that a fat lady in a white dress? <laughs> 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 She's clearing her throat. <laughs> Yes. We have to say the obese lady. No, no, you can't use the word fat again. You can't use fat again. <laughs> but if you're fat, you're fat. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with fat. You know, everything is um, political correct now. So, you know, you're not supposed to If a to person is carrying the weight <laughs> nice, I like that. They dress nicely, smells good, looks good. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with fat. If you're loose, you know, um, loosey fat and flabby fat, that's something we have to send it to Jenny Craig. Yeah, we use the Jenny Craig moment here. Yeah, exactly. The umpires. Yeah, if you have some flabs and stuff, but if you're nice and tight. Well, spin is out the attack now, and we're bringing back the... Oh, the keeper seemed like he had a little slip there. Almost. Well, Amir is back, represented Pakistan also. Mohammed Amir, left arm swing bowler. Yes, we have to. No need for him to. Ooh, this one is effort delivery. He was getting up on him. Batsman was swatting at it, tennis fashion, like hitting an overhead slam. But the extra cover man is deep on the boundary. He would have gone over the regulation um, cover point. Fielder, so he was safe with that shot. So Amir is sending back his long on as the salt par Tom Moores gets on strike. Of course, he's, in. he's playing this one in the offside. That's a good looking shot. It goes for four. Square driven, oddly. Yes, Mr. Amir, of course, an international cricketer for Pakistan. He has played some, some 36 test matches for Pakistan, 61 ODIs and 50 T20s. And he's one of those guys that well-traveled um, individuals around the world in the T20 circuit and the T20 circuit playing as well as T10. Playing franchise cricket yes. outside the off stump. And he's lucky to be called white there because the batter went right across there and he, he missed it. Um, I'm sorry, Charlie. If I was the umpire, he wouldn't get that, that white for me. Not going way across there. He brought the ball into play. But nonetheless, a white goes into the scores book. 54 for two. Oh, here is it with the tennis ball bounce. <laughs> Effort delivery, the international player out of Pakistan, that's Mohammed Amir, would have played um, red ball. ball and white ball format for Pakistan. And um, what is H? So I think he would have left the arena. Ball them! That was a slow delivery, pace off, and crashed into the middle stump. Oh, wicket number three goes. So he was swinging. He fooled him with all his experience. He came up. Same action. But pace off. He had an almighty swing. The Storm Moors. He batted eight from eight. From eight. So 114 seem as if it's coming like climbing Mount Everest. There it is. And he smiled. That one pleased him. No matter how many wickets you get. Very appropriate. Christmas lights flashing. Yes, I'm telling <laughs> you. Wickets. Well, the hard hitting. Mr. Smith, if any time they need him, they need him now more than ever.
So Odin Smith walks briskly to the to the crease. And he will be on strike to face the last delivery of Omas of Amir Spell. So I mean, he's still a young man. He's 31, but he retired from international cricket but back in 2020 at age 28. Outside the off stump and a legal delivery. That it's a good spell from him. Picking up one for nine from his two overs. That's a good day at the office. Good day's work. Yes, Mohammed Amir. I was saying. Um, I think my mic was off. Mohammed Amir. Um, retired from international cricket in 2020 at age 28. Uh, he's presently 31 years old. Uh, he'll be 32 back next year, April. So, still a young man. Very young. Oh, pretty young man. In Australia, you're making your debut at 35 and 36. And he's finishing at 28. Wow. Me in Pakistan. And he had some good numbers there. Um when he played. Yep. He has some um, 36 test matches, six, um, 61 ODIs, and 50 T20s. Yes. I guess too much wear and tear in his body for so young. Oh, this one is in the air, but it's not going to be going far enough to be taken down at deep back with square leg. So that's Gomel. In Test cricket, in Test cricket, um, Ivor, his best figures six for forty-four in Test, in ODIs five for thirty, and in T20s four for thirteen, four for thirteen. So he's always amongst the wickets. So his pedigree is not in doubt. You know, he is a big guy. Yes, not in size, but small, but in Talawa, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a tennis bounce yes, to I Smith. And he's asking for wide, the over the shoulder. I don't think that was over the shoulder, Mr. Smith. Was it? I didn't see the replay. Well, um, some um, the stats are saying he's six two, but uh, um, you know it's questionable sometimes. Like um, mm -hmm. I'm seeing Andre Fletcher. They're he's saying he's tall They're saying Andre Fletcher is six four. He Andre six four. Andre Fletcher is maximum six R six one. Yeah, but not six four. Yeah, no. say six, six four. four. He's not six four. Yeah, but he's six feet though. He's at least yeah. maybe six two. I mean, mm. yeah, he's pretty tall. Y you know, there's some. I have a concept here that um, I wonder if the ICC would consider it. Um, continue pounding on it. Any six that's over hundred meters. Should be counted as eight. <laughs> Join the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Did you lose sight of that ball or something? Let's see what happened here. Leg buys, yeah. Ball crashed into him. He looked pretty awkward playing at at that one, to be honest with you. You don't want anybody to get hurt. Did he lose sight of something? So, Od Odin, come on. Go down fighting. This is the penultimate over. We know the target is way out there, but at least. Bold him! And a, a mighty heave, and the center stump was knocked out of the ground. Wow. Odin understands, you know, when he's a fast bowler as well. So, you know, when you hit a person middle stump out, how good the bowlers feel. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can also understand he's walking back. Oh, dejected young man, dejected looking, <laughs> stump being knocked out of the ground. Well, the eagles are not soaring; they're going down in a heap. The king's men. I I thought the king's men would have had to call on Humpty Dumpty <laughs> to put that together again, but the eagles are the one who's yeah, down that was a big and heave need to either. be put together again. Big heave. Yeah, that was head, a big head heave. In, head in the air and everything. An almighty heave. So he's gone. 57 for four. One over remaining in the penultimate. One ball. Just one ball. One ball to go in the uh, penultimate over. And um, 
things are not looking good for the Eagles. As a the matter of fact, they, I don't think there's no chance for the Eagles to take this yeah. one. Yeah, Clarion County Eagles, they are going to be done and dusted. They are on their way home. I think they're packing their bags. It was nice that you grace us with your present, participated in the 15th edition of this U.S. Open. That's a good spell there from Wakas Mahmood. This is even better. His two of us cost him five ones. Wow, that and miserly. A wicket. <laughs> Talk miserly. about being a miser. Don't you know that this is the time for giving? <laughs> this is the season? I yeah. mean, these guys are not, they're not reading the script. They're not giving away anything. That's good bowling. T10. T10. You're one bowling two five. overs for five runs and taking a wicket? Oh, you have to give something now. That's Come on. True. That's very and good And you're bowling. taking a big wicket to take a big fish, an international cricketer? And you're bowling to Odin Smith. Odin and Smith. The, 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 the big hitter. Oh, come on. What's wrong with this guy? Virgil. If Virgil would only hear us. <laughs> not giving the bowler credit. <laughs> That's Virgil Francis. We want to say good hello to him and happy holidays. I haven't called my good friend Earl Stevens. Outside the off stump in the air. He's going to be safe as it goes out to the covers region just for a single. So this match is done and dusted. I think they have already accepted their faith. I think they have already accepted their faith and even they did not even attempt to run a second run because it, it, it's pointless at this moment. And they are already on their way home. Uh, <laughs> current run rate 6.2. There's no chance. <laughs> They'd have target 114 and just three balls to go. The writing is already on the wall. And it says the Eagles, no, the Eagles are going home. That's the writing. That's the writing on the wall. So it's very cold up north. So the Eagles are flying south. Uh, at least they, they've flown all the way down here. Uh, at one. Down to long arm, and they didn't even bother to run. As I said before, it's pointless at this stage. With only one delivery to bowl, one legitimate delivery, 58 for four. And that's it. 58 for four will be the final score, and the Eagles went down in a pile. Game, set, match. Game, set, match. So, Masood, Masood two overs, one for five. That's a miserly bowler. Amir two overs, one for nine. Very good all two. Singh uh, two overs, one for twelve. Khan two overs, no wicket for fifteen, and Kumar. Uh, two overs, one for 16. And it's 58 for four, the total, after 10 overs. So they will be going home. And it seem that's it for tonight. So tomorrow, God willing, and if the rain allows, Mr. Ivor Henry for sure, and I'll be here to do it all over again. Well, the rain or shine, I'll uh, make my presence be seen and felt at the ground. So I'll be back here tomorrow um, as early as perhaps maybe 9 o'clock. I try to get in before 9.